Hey, well, top of the afternoon to you guys. Well, actually, it's morning. Top of the morning to you guys. How you guys doing? So, we did Tough Mudder yesterday, and uh, I just wanted to say it was a blast. I did it with Melissa, just the two of us. Um, supposed to be on a team, but some mix-ups and whatnot, and uh, couldn't be on a, I don't know, whatever. Time delays, whatever. We went out on our own, and it was a very good time. Just wanted to show you guys the scars that I got from doing all of this. So, there's number one, not too bad, right there, just all on the elbow. We'll do the second arm, there, 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 and then I would say the legs will probably, shit, can we even see that? Can't see what, what I'm looking at. There we go. Uh, legs are a little banged up on this side as well going up the legs and stuff overall not too shabby it's just basically scratches everywhere I don't think I have any bruises yet uh, which is really nice um, nothing really like on the like chest or anything like that um, so not too bad no, not too bad there. Nothing really on the back, which is nice as well. Um, basically, I the only thing that happened was I pulled this part of my quad right there. Um, I was going up the hills, so this part just got really spazzed and uh, it kind of locked out. So I guess we kind of lost time um, because of that damn spasm. And so like it just it locked into place and every time I would walk it would really tense up and stuff like that so we took about a 20 minute break I thought I was out for good uh, because I thought you know it tore or, or whatever um, but uh, luckily waited like 20 minutes and uh, yeah it kind of like I could fail for the rest of the race but uh, it just I don't know it was just a lot better like the pain at, at the beginning was just immense and every time we did more uphill uh, sprints it was well, it wasn't too bad, put it that way. Uh, I could feel it, but it wasn't as bad as it was the first time. So, luckily for us, we finished the race. Um, absolutely great time. Really good way of connecting with your significant other. If you, um, yeah, if you're both athletic um, and you both love fitness and whatnot, uh, like Melissa and I do, then I think it's just an awesome way to spend a spend a day together. You know, it's a really, really hardcore, if you will. Um, you know, you've got to push each other, wait for each other, you know, encourage each other to try and finish the race. So, yeah, I just got to say it was a really good time. Yeah, just want to show you guys the scars that come out of this. This isn't that bad. There was a lot of, like, broken bones and, you know, wrist injuries and whatnot. But, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was a lot of mind over matter to keep running. I would say the start of it was... Um, was the worst part because I think like 25% or something quit after like the first kilometer because it's all uphill and just really gets you gassy. Um, definitely that mind crossed my mind for, that thought crossed my mind for a second, but we, uh, yeah, just, just kept on going. <laughs> I still got this damn fucking cold sore that's bothering me and makes me look like a retard. It is what it is. I am going to go and host an eating contest now. Hopefully people won't make fun of me too much, but that's okay. Uh, gnocchi eating contest at Paola in Toronto on Queensway. You should come out if you do see this vlog before then. If not, then I will post up footage because I'm getting Melissa to record it. So that you can see. Even though I'm not eating. Well, maybe I will eat. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, yeah, I forgot to say, I gopro the entire, um, uh, in every obstacle, put it that way. I didn't have enough battery power for the whole race or anything like that, or, or time-wise, whatever. But I, uh, I definitely gopro every single obstacle, so I will be putting that together and, uh, putting it up, um, hopefully not, I don't know when, but soon, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it all together. It was a, it's kind of a nuisance to, you know on off on off on my head and everything because I had it on my head the whole time but I think it's worth it and uh, yeah so hopefully you guys can see it anyways you guys stay sexy you stay hungry and of course can't lay. woo